Okay, we're just going to settle for this uh, less than flattering angle. Um, but hello, it's me, Tegru, and welcome to a thrifting vlog. Um, or well, something. I don't know what's actually what this is actually going to be like. Um, all I know is I have a lot of uh, thrifting footage from charity shops. I wanted to use it for something, and uh, I'm just on my way to Gillingham to get some bits and bobs and I'm going to check out the charity shops while I'm at it and uh, I'm out here in public well on the way to Gillingham um, filming in a windy spot so I have no idea how this is going to turn out um, but yeah it's what day is it 27th of uh, May it's a Friday um, I like to go to Gillingham on weekdays because my favourite charity shop is not open on Saturdays. So, yeah. Um, let's just up and go. Me. This was my tripod and uh, this is the surroundings. So there's some cars going around. But let's continue my journey. I fell over on that hole which you can't see on the camera but there's a hole it's like a dip in the grass and I fell over on it <laughs> don't have a light scrape but it's fine it's only grass <laughs> very annoying I'm not happy
it's time for a haul portion. Uh, it's actually been probably a couple of weeks. I don't know anymore. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. It was last month. <laughs> it's June now. Um, it's just taken me a while to get myself oriented to actually film a whole bit. Um, but here we are. And because I've got quite a lot of footage, I've got some from the week before the last bit that you just saw uh, when I went to Strood in Rochester because um, I was seeing my friend and then I've got also got a bunch of stuff from uh, footage from like last year and the spring just random bits of footage from the charity shops including like Christmas stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a haul now then do um then we have the Rochester and Strood bit and I'll show you what I got there uh, and then I'll leave the other clips at the end so I'm going to try to chapter this so you know if you, you're not interested in whatever bit you can skip things but I don't know if I'm going to figure out how to do that but yeah um let's start with the haul so um where should I start Okay, I'm going to start with the most recent one. So, this is a dress, an Evans dress that I got at Skype, I think, in Rochester. No, no, in Gillingham on Friday. It is Monday now. Uh, I have washed it. I'm good. I don't actually I kind of hate the colour but I'm gonna do some like crafty things to embroidery definitely adding bo uh, pockets um but yeah we'll see what happens um I think it was four pound I've lost the label now um and I think that's the only thing I've got that time yeah on that trip and then while we're on clothes, which is rare, it's very rare for me to find anything good in my size. Because there's usually like, out of the this much, well, let's say this much clothes, there's like this much in over 20. And it's usually like really horrible, like for mums and stuff. But I found this, um, where is this from? Your Stress? Uh, it's a uh, daisies jersey t-shirt material I uh, can't remember what size it was 22 probably was it yeah 22 to 24 and this was from Oxfam and I think it was about 2.99 3.99 maybe and this one's really good I like it a lot um, again no pockets but I th I'm gonna figure out a way either to add pockets to this the thing is because it's jersey it's a bit trickier than you know a standard one and I kind of want to do patch pockets uh, I've found some uh, tutorials on how to do cotton pockets on jersey but I haven't got around to it yet I've got a few other things that need pockets in a similar way and I kind of don't want to do it in the seams like I usually would okay but that is really good I've worn it a couple of times already it's nice um, and then see I'm, I'm showing you all the things that are big at this point because um, this is a is it the right way around yeah it's a children's duvet cover but look at this I mean the thing is I've given myself a fabric band I'm not supposed to buy any more fabric because I've got lots and I haven't used hardly any of it. But look at that, that beautiful sort of like semi 80s, 70s colour palette, children's thing. This will be make a really great dress at some point. I don't know if it's actually vintage. I've got a feeling that it's like pseudo vintage, like a retro. And the thing is, it's got like metal snaps on the side i've never seen that before in a duvet cover and i buy a lot of duvet covers 
So I'm just looking if I can find a tag in here. Na, 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 na. Nope. I don't know. Must be from somewhere. But anyway, I found this and I just could not not get it. I can't remember how much it was. It might have been a whole fibre. But I can't remember. And while we're on do this, uh, from the same trip, I bought this one. It has leopards in the forest and then on the other side it's got like this sort of leopard print thing and the thing is I've actually got this duvet in king size that goes on our bed and I'm probably going to change into it very soon but this one is a single and it was two pound and I just really love this print so I was like I'm gonna have to get it I can make myself matching jammies I'm not going to make magic jammies. This this uh, pattern is too cute for that shit. And then we have more duvet covers. So um, this is what picked my eye in Oxfam. Oh yeah, that was for, uh, the the other one was from Demelza, and the jungle uh, children's one was from British Heart Foundation. All in Gillingham. Uh, so I saw this in Oxfam. You may have uh, may recognise it from the footage. Uh, I saw this and I was like, oh, "What's that? I'm not supposed to buy fabric." Um, and it was a oh Percy bit pig um duvet cover children's. Um, also I just love the apples uh, it was this one still has a tag because I haven't washed it yet $2.99 single duvet cover one pillowcase uh, in case you don't know who Percy Pig is uh, Percy Pig is a line of sweets <laughs> at M&S which Marks and Spencer's which is a fancy well, it's sort of semi it's not fancy fancy but it's semi fancy um food and home everything shop and they do i think they do vegan sweets so everyone loves percy big <laughs> i just couldn't help myself <laughs> i don't even like percy pigs that's the, th the stupid thing i don't like the sweets i just don't like the consistency it's not quite right for me i am a little bit piggy on Piggy, picky on my gummies. So um, yeah, and this is the end of the first half of the haul. There'll be more, uh, but now we will get on to the Strood and Rochester footage. Roll the tape. <laughs> She likes how I smell I say if my boyfriend is well
A record plays in time with a drip from my sink And she drags her finger to follow my spine She gets lost on her way and I'm losing my mind She has me too close and she has me too fast Imagine you now and me this to last of this video so let's just get on with it so you might recognize this from what you've just seen so I bought the bloody butter dish I have absolutely no use for this but it's adorable I couldn't help myself I mean it was only a pound after all like, I have no need for a butter dish. I do use butter, but we don't have dining tables, so I don't need to put it, like, display it in any way. And also, we don't generally eat butter in that way. I use it during cooking. It does come with this cool knife, though, which might come in handy. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't help myself. And I've been trying to come up with like something I could use it for so I have an excuse for it and I was thinking I could use it to display badges when I table with the distro at Zinefest. Uh, the only thing is I'll have to figure out a way to keep this lid open because if you let go it does that. It did also come with like a skewer that you put into the butter so the lid uh, stays open but obviously a skew is not going to do it for badges because you can't skewer a badge but it's too adorable <laughs> we'll see if I actually use it when I eventually table somewhere again okay and uh, here's another thing you might recognize but from earlier these mugs um, Set of three, they were £2.50. Um, originally there was actually four of them and I had been seeing them in my favourite shop, um, the Gillingham Age UK, since um, for like months. I've There's actually a clip in the old charity shop clips montage that's going to be after this bit uh, from March 29th. And in that, there's actually four of them. I don't know what's happened to the force uh, between the end of March and the end of May. Um, I think uh, the, 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 the manager at the shop said it's probably been stolen. I assume she would remember if someone had broken it. Um, I mean, shit happens in charity shops, but I'm sure, you know, that's more memorable somewhat. Um, I just really, I was like, 
I didn't buy them earlier because I was like, I don't really need more mugs. I have lots of mugs and I even have big mugs and uh, bowls, but I love big mugs and I kind of lie, you know. Um, and I have already used these and they're very good. Um, especially for like pudding. We had some trifle from that and it's very handy because um, just putting that down nicely, you can hold on to it. Like that. It's very good. I just like these um like seventies, early eighties mugs. Um I've you know, they remind me of these ones. These are these mugs are actually really common. I think there's some footage of these mugs somewhere too in this video. Can't remember if it's in the first bit or in the old clips but yeah if if you go to a charity shop and there isn't an onion or um oxtail soup mug in there did you go to a charity shop at all and i just watered this um cactus for the first time ever <laughs> before it dies i've already managed to kill a cactus do you want to see the dead cactus I think it's gone. It just shriveled up. I don't know when it did it. I just noticed one day. I've tried watering it, but it's not really any better. So I think that one's dead. And then we have one more thing, which is this book. I bought it in Rochester. But I didn't film anything in that shop, so that's why it's not in the montage. Uh, it was £2. I can't remember the name of the shop because it's one of the ones I don't like, but we won't they know. I don't know. It seems like I have better luck when I go thrifting with another person. So I thought I'd try, but I didn't actually... The only things I bought that day was the butter dish and this. Um, and I didn't really need this either. But I do have a affinity for these old 70s smelly craft books. It does smell a bit. Um, Emma was, I basically kind of was talked into buying it because Emma was like I recognise that dog I've got the book that that's in but it's not this book. Um, she's got she's actually got a much bigger collection of old craft books um her, she's got the one that's all soft toys and that's from the soft toy one so we reckoned this is probably like a best of compilation from the same company and this is from 1973 um i should probably use some of this for art because i don't think i'm actually going to make anything but <laughs> we'll see it might just stand on the shelf forever like a lot of things I just I just like 70s and 60s books um <coughs> <coughs> oh dear mm. <sighs> it's not good <coughs> hay fever day very tickly today Anyway, but the, that's the end of the haul this time, but not the end of the video. Stay tuned for the final old charity shop clips montage. Uh, but I'm just going to, before that, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. Let me know if you want to see a video of my fabric stash, because... <laughs> Those three duvet covers are like the tip of the massive ice, iceberg that is my fabric stash. And I'd say about at least 75% of my stash is thrifted. Because I love to buy duvet covers and then claim that I'm going to make something out of them. I have made a few things. But I need to stop buying more. Anyway... And then also if you want to see some like 
other old thrifted treasure because uh, my partner is a uh, manager at one of the local charity shops and basically that means he gets first dibs and he after all this time 18 years he knows very well what I like so he's about on a bi-weekly basis he'll bring me something cool from the charity shop so if anyone's interested in seeing some of our treasure um, let me know and I'll hopefully maybe make a video because there's also stuff that I found I like to buy weird things um, this is a maxi maximalist house as you may be able to tell um, so yeah what else um, like and subscribe blah 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 and uh, enjoy this last montage of old shit in charity shop